Dogs are barking. Garage is a mess. Making a video. All right, here's where I'm at. This is a lumen meter that shows how bright the lights are as the dogs bark. Nine hundred lux, nine hundred lumens. Let's test that. So it is dark. I specifically did this in the dark. All the lights in the garage are just salvage lights that I've just picked up over the years, and they're random. That's a bathroom. That's some sort of track light. These are old lights. Anyways, uh, so that's what we're measuring with. Let's see what the car is putting out right now in pitch black. Here's the Gen 5. Here's the side of the garage. I would say at this angle, at this degree, reliably, it looks like it's maxing out about 75,000. There's a K on there if you can't see it. I'm trying to get everything in shot. Approximately 75. So let's see if changing that headlight moves it up. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Oh, there's a 77. The highest number. Oh, let's do max. So I've set it to max so it'll not jump around as much. And I just want the peak. Ooh. We're going to call that 83.4. Now I'm going to change the headlights and see if it's any better. My dogs are still barking, but I bought this very expensive headlight bulb. Just a bulb. Uh, basically 100 bucks for a headlight bulb. This is D4S. But the point of this video is up to 150% more vision. Ooh, they don't say brighter on the packaging. But let's see if it does anything. And here we are a few minutes later. I'm actually gonna turn my light off. There we go. Uh, so two things. That's what it looks like uh, on the camera. It doesn't look very different, and I'll be honest, in person, there's a minor improvement, but I wouldn't say it's any brighter. Uh, but let's see how many lux we've got. And I'm gonna use the same tool. I'm gonna set it to max. Let's see. One sixteen. I'm gonna turn it on and off and see if we get a different reading. Set it to max. It's thirty nine. It's hard to get the camera to want to focus on it. Wow, okay. So at least here on the garage wall, I chose it because it was just a solid white surface. At least there. It should be visual, but this meter is showing a marked improvement. That's surprising. Uh, again, these weren't cheap, but these are I mean, the numbers don't lie. 
I never like it when in companies claim, oh, I don't know, 700 miles per gallon, and then they actually get seven, but uh, that's probably pretty extreme, but that's a whole other conversation with EPA mandates versus CAFE versus blah, 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 but this does seem to be a marked improvement, so uh, yeah. I'm going to call this a win. If you can spare 100 bucks a headlight versus 50 bucks a headlight, it's probably worthwhile. Thanks for watching. Uh, real quick, I wanted to add something right here. I didn't have a video of it, but as I'm editing it, I realized there needs to be an extra bit. Uh, so enjoy some B-roll at the farm. Uh, the car is noticeably brighter driving at night at the driver's seat. Uh, I didn't actually drive it that night. It sat in the same spot overnight, and then I didn't drive it at night for about a week. But driving it at night is a night and day difference. Haha, <laughs> get it. But I really do recommend those lights. I know they're not cheap, but I'm going to blame this one on rub. So, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.